Hello, my friends. Look at that birthday cake in front of me. I have that beautiful woman that so happens to do all that fancy work for you and me. Just give me a little gift here. A birthday cake. Look at all these beautiful little cool little animals. Reminds me of a little bit of uh, life and fun and cartoons. We had a dog like that named April. There's a Mallory duck, you know, a sheep and a rabbit. Cool. Things in which I'd like to tell you about about Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was like a Dr. Doolittle because he was so well loved because he was actually a vegetarian. They didn't smell animal meat on him. I'm not trying to get you to change your ways of anything. Just want to let you know how Leonardo da Vinci's lifestyle was. But in my painting of the Me Dion Passion, I call it, that um, it is a diary. A diary of his entire life of when he's played with these animals and when he's been out into the barns and when he's had his cake and when he's had his smile. Well, my birthday's coming on the 22nd and I was hoping that I can interest you into giving me a gift and subscribe. Uh, and you could do it prior and watch my YouTubes and you can also watch my YouTubes on my birthday too to help get me my hours I need. We're real close to receiving what uh, YouTube requires and that's because of you and because of passing the word. Well if those who haven't subscribed let me tell you listen it costs nothing to subscribe just want to give you a sneak peek. What's back behind here is coming, okay? We're going to do this, but let me tell you something. Leonardo da Vinci is what I'm living and breathing. And it is absolutely 100% his works. So I'm going to show you some stuff of his tricks that are in my YouTubes. So I'm going to pull this down and I want to show you that this is the younger Mona Lisa. And this is the older Mona Lisa being serenaded by Jesus Christ. It is a magnificent diary of his entire life is in this painting. Entire life. That's like you starting your life, uh, you know, when you were born and you wrote down everything. But he put it inside this painting. It has trillions of images, and I have nearly a thousand YouTubes of proof. For some reason, I have like 1,300 YouTubes I've loaded up, but YouTube's only got a little bit less than a thousand. I can't figure out where my 400 extra YouTubes have gone, but I don't know how to contact YouTube on that direct deal. Just kind of like they got gotten lost somehow. I don't understand how. But, oh well. We're going to move on and I'll deal with that another time because look at this. Okay. The older Mona Lisa being serenaded. Now, she's a mature, gorgeous woman. But let me show you that the image that's here is also located right here in the Mona Lisa. This image here that I'm going to be showing you is located approximately. Uh, oh, right here in the Medeon. Now, both women are the same. They have the same thing. So, let me show you what is going on. The image, the image here, you have to understand what it really, really is. It is, it is with an S that runs through here in this shadow that stands for Sali. This also black stands for an F for Melzi Francesca. This hairdo that runs here is the beginning words for Leonardo da Vinci. Now these are codes, codes, okay. When you pull out his body, 
that we go deeper in. We, well, I've, I'm going to have to make sure I don't throw it off first. So let me show you something of a little trick before we get there. If you look at the Mona behind it, it actually has this similar look in here with a face. If you can see an eye and a nose and a mouth right in here. Also, there's this woman dressed in a dress that looks this way. Well, this woman becomes a nose of a dog and also this image also becomes part of the other. So let me get to that. And I want to show you his tricks. These are tricks of his in paintings. So when you overlay this, whoops, the wrong way. When you overlay this, the face becomes the face. See, see the face? Fits inside the face. And the Mona's eyes line up in the eyes. Pretty trippy, huh? Well, it's also made to where it flips upside down because if it flipped upside down, her eyes and her mouth, her eyes and her mouth, because here's her eyes, because they, they move. But when you also slide this across, you slide this across and you get your markings, uh, you get to right. Oh, I have to shift it. I forgot. Because his images move up and down. And when you get to right here, let's see. Sorry. Well, I know when you get to here, the nose becomes, I went a little too far, becomes the dog. Watch. That becomes a dog. See the eye here and the snout and this round deal becomes the tip. Look at, there's a round circle here. Here's the round circle. And when you butt it up, puzzle piece right there boom becomes the dog and then this this image here you see, you can you see this line that runs through here of his face and how it cuts that's it you slide it on over and it becomes his lover or lovers so here here over here we were the face becomes the face you slide over here let me just keep it there for a second. You can do a screenshot. You can do a screenshot and you'll see the face becomes the face. And the eyes line up. And then when you slide over here, his face becomes the back of his head with the same spear that matches the spear. Okay? And then the eyes float through and see, watch. You can see the eyes that float because he's obsessed and then you slide this forward into the circle and he has his dog with him watching him okay that is a trip of things in which here's the Mona flipped upside down in an x-ray hidden of his works that he put this image in in many different areas that floated so on top of that this image cannot be seen with the human eye Watch. This is what's on their face. Okay? Right on her, on her face. You cannot see it with the human eye. And these little bodies, when you open them up, it actually spells Melzi Francesca. Okay? And this one actually, all these little letters actually spell Leonardo da Vinci Sir Pierre. That's a little body with little legs. And this is a little body with little legs. They make cartoons. He's a cartoonist. And he makes his images move. Now, on top of that, watch this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wish to do it early. Here's something trippy. Here's the Mona. And here is the Battle of Algeria. Now, what looks so different about it? Well, does it have a similarity when it's turned to look like the Mona? Yes. Look at her arms, how they're crisscrossing. 
let me show you a little more. I'm going to give you a little more before we get to the little more. Watch. Please. See how it veers through here? And how our head's round. Here's the roundness. And here's the arms. They become as strong as a horse. And here it is. Here it is. A little bit lower, a little bit higher. Now, different variations of movements and sizes go. So when you take the Mona and you lay it over the top, whoops, I got to do it vice versa to make it easier. Sorry. And, and you can see how the arms lay across. Here's this long, strong arm laying across the strong arm. Here's this bent neck. It goes to here to make it strong. And, and this is the way he is. And here's the circle. Here's the circle that varies up and down. And don't forget, he has this cut line in here that gives her little hairband that's up in here to be. Now, I'm telling you, I, I have another little thing here. And it says, give me a gift, please. Please, please, please. I can use a gift and I like the can I have that cupcake now hey that looks good don't it she is a magnificent woman heart of gold and she's got three angels and we would love to keep her busy and with that I like to say if you can actually pass the word I'll take a birthday gift early I will promise <laughs> I'll, I'll open the gift. Look at that. Tell a friend. Please. I love you guys. And I need you guys to social distance. Wear a mask. And wash your hands. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And may please say your prayers. And may God bless the whole world. The whole universe. And the whole heavens. And don't forget. Okay. Don't forget. That. I have nearly a thousand YouTubes. What I just showed you is only a taste of a little bit of that cupcake. Thank you very much for watching. And you guys stay safe. In Jesus' name, amen.